What's up guys? Today we are watching season 3 episode 8 of Breaking Bad and I'm just excited to watch this episode because by the time this reaction comes out it'll be on my birthday and what better thing to post on my birthday than the favorite thing that I'm watching on my channel. So last episode, last episode was a lot. Really stressful. Where do I even start? It's like Hank went after Jesse, Jesse's in the hospital, Jesse wanted to press charges on Hank, Hank was basically gonna lose his job, but then you know what happened at the end of the episode, Hank got shot from like the twins since they went after them, like well they went after him, and it was just a whole big ordeal, stressful moment, hated it, I need to see if Hank's gonna be alive because you know, I want him to be alive. So, I guess, let's just get into the episode. <sighs> so he's finally getting out of the hospital. Could be okay waiting here by yourself? Yeah, whatever. Who's going to be picking him up? Oh, he's going to get to see Hank get brought in. Is he even going to see that it's Hank? The belly's rigid. The patient appears pale and diaphoretic. How many entry wounds? We found four. Shoulder and hip, through and through. Right lung and lower left quadrant. No visible exit wound. He sees that it's Hank now. Yo, Jesse, sorry I'm late, man. That's who's picking him up. How you feeling? You okay? Actually... I'm great. Thinking he finally got his karma. I don't understand. I thought things were going pretty well. I, I thought we were kind of simpatico. Y'all are. He's just being difficult. It, it, it's as if I'm classical. But you are, are more jazz wrong you make no sense because y'all are good you're just trying to help yourself by getting jesse on your team oh shit man this is the ball so jesse's gonna meet gail what's up partner oh I can't believe Gail has to see who his replacement is. I don't mean I don't mean to be. Oh! Oh! This no! makes no sense. You're right, Gail. This is for the best. 200 pounds a week. Got it? How much was he making before? Is it still the same amount? I forgot. Right on. Just saying. There's a cell service down here. It's non-existent. Now that I'm thinking about it, is, is he not gonna tell him about Hank? Cause he knows they're related, right? He's about to tell Why? him. Your brother-in-law. What about him? Sir, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I, it's all right. He's family. Thank you. I'm surprised his friend is there already. Oh, Christ. 
Why do I feel like Skylar is about to act some type of way? I gotta sit her. Okay, maybe not. Aiden, now it's gone. Why didn't Hank have his gun? Because he just got... I had to suspend Hank pending the investigation. That means I had to take away his weapon. Damn. She didn't know that. What kind of partner are you? You were supposed to back him up, and where were you? Where were you? Texas. He's been backing him up. I'm sorry, Marie. He actually got him through some shit. I'm not doing anything until these two get the hell out of here. I mean it. It's like I see where she's coming from, but also like... It's not just them. It's you, Walt. How did Walt get into this? Hank was looking for... Hank would have never even heard his name if you hadn't bought marijuana from him. Oh my god, Marie. I literally want to fight you. Just be quiet and grieve. You're upset and you're looking for someone to blame and it's understandable, but don't blame Walt. It's not his fault. I'm surprised she's taken up for him, but thank you, Skylar. It's wild because Walt didn't even know that those twins were after him in the first place because Gus and the other bald dude, they were like keeping it from him, you know? And then Gus sent him after Hank. Hello! Hello, 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 hello. What the fuck are you doing, Jesse? <laughs> And now that I think about it, Walt was just saying that they had a few days until the next batch is due, so he's not there to help, so what's gonna happen? Is Jesse just gonna make it himself? Walter White, the nearest courtesy phone. Walter White, please pick up a courtesy phone. What the fuck? Who the hell is calling you? At the hospital. You. you aren't. Look, man, it's been a whole day. How long is this grieving process? Just put a clock on it for me. All I'm saying is we have a schedule, right? That's what I was saying earlier. So what's gonna happen? And I can read. Jesse, touch nothing. Yo, stop treating me like I'm your assistant. I'm not your bitch to order around. We're partners, remember? Yeah, but like you said, you don't know how to work the shit. There doesn't seem to be manuals for that shit. He had to learn how to do it too, so... You asked about her. And please do keep us in your thoughts. Hey, tell your douchebag brother-in-law to head towards the light. Damn. You shouldn't have told him that, man. Yeah, that sounds good. I... Do you know who that was? He was going to try and play it off, but she didn't buy into it. It's all under the same roof. Do you think that sick people aren't eating with this bacteria-infested silverware? My god, how are you supposed to survive this death trap? I survived. I had my lobectomy at this hospital. Was when they took me into pre-op, lying there, waiting for them to anesthetize you. I can't tell that if 
I can't tell if it's actually helping. Anyway, I survived this place. And I'm not half the man your husband is. Hank can survive that place too. He better fucking survive. Because I want to throw hands if he doesn't. Fabian, I didn't order this. And my men would never do this on their own. Someone gave the go-ahead. Are you accusing me? It was you, Gus. But I mean... <laughs> Man is in custody. Dios bendiga America. He's innocent until proven guilty, correct? I'll get him the best lawyer. And then we'll learn the truth. Tell me, tell me they ain't gonna get Saul. They better not call Saul. Trying to stabilize. How long will that take? Uh, I can't really say. It could be hours. But we'll let you know just as soon as you can see him. I'm just happy he's okay. For the time being, we're good. Okay. There's a piece of shit. The guy who shot him, the one that's left, he's up there, got the painkillers going on, resting comfortably. Your tax dollars at work. So he made it through. I thought he might die on the table or something. I didn't expect that they were going to show him the dude. Oh no, he recognizes Walt. And they don't know that. I didn't realize... Okay. Tell me this is like, okay. I thought it, he might have been imagining it, but he's not. <laughs> Jesse, what the fuck? <laughs> And Walt walks in. Time. I thought that was Walt. Okay. Started asking questions too, like why haven't you cooked anything? All right, we have a quota. It's due tomorrow. Do you seriously not care or what? Because I didn't notice it was due tomorrow. I thought they had a few more days. Right, Jesse? It was, it was his cousins. Yeah. Cousins. Whatever, man. Why? They attacked Hank. And he's not going to tell him that. Everybody knows who Pab Pablo Escobar is, but nobody knows about the guys that brought him down. I guess I never thought about it. No one ever does. Uh, I, I need to. I'll be right back. It's okay. Is Jesse calling again? No, I, I assure you, we are hard at work. Absolutely. So I can expect delivery by tomorrow, as good. Since, since Gus knows about what's happening, he can't know. I was about to say, why wouldn't he, like reason with Walt, but he's not supposed to know, but he does know. Gail really screwed us up. I mean, not, not, not on purpose, of course, but he just, he set us way back and we've been playing catch up ever since. You're just not going to tell him about your brother-in-law? I have your word on that. You do. You have my word on that. 
Thank you for the update. I just don't know why he wouldn't just say that his brother-in-law is in the hospital from getting shot. Is, is it because he doesn't think that he knows that Hank's a DEA agent? I don't know. Buddy, nobody's getting to Hank. That was the one shot and they blew it. So, no. No way. I hope that's true. Uh, on occasion. Order's a big booster for the DEA. You heard what happened? He's gonna feed every cop in the building. So he knows about Hank. And he's there himself. Is it basically to show that he knows that Walter lied? I don't know. Thank you, Mr. Free. You're very welcome. Men like your husband are the thin blue line between us and these animals. I only wish I could do more. It is so wild that he's actually meeting their families. Meeting Walt's family. I uh, talked for a few minutes with your husband. As a matter of fact, Mr. White, your name came up. So that's how he finds out that he knows Hank. Yes, th thank you. <laughs> Let me walk in. Oh, oh no, it's not necessary. It's so wild how he can seem so innocent, yet he can be scary at the same time. You knew, you, you knew my brother-in-law was with the DEA. I investigate everyone with whom I do business. Shouldn't be surprised. I don't understand it. I don't know what it means. Please, if, if you may have some knowledge that you can share with me. He knows everything, man. He just ain't gonna tell you. I'm sure that'll be fine. I am told the assassin that survived is gravely injured. It's doubtful he'll live. He's gonna have him killed? What's going on? Hank's gonna be up. I'm hoping. Two, three, four. Oh, that's the other dude. Three, four, Still one, nothing. two, three. All right, stopping compressions. Time. 843. Who did something to that man? It was bald, dude. I had a feeling. How is he never seen? Unfortunate. And meanwhile, I have federales surrounding my house. You know what I think, Gustavo? I think you're behind all this. Why would I do this? You're right, but he's gonna swerve you away from the truth. And the others find out what you've done. Maybe we come pay you a visit. Maybe we come. Is, this Is he ha- So he's getting them caught too, so he won't have them to deal with anymore. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid it's immediate family only. We're, we're all family. I understand, but we have a certain protocol here that we need to- We're all family. Period. Can't keep them away. God, I swear to you, it's like one thing after the other, but you know, this episode, it wasn't bad. It was a slow episode, so nothing too major happened, but Hank is alive. He 
is on a ventilator and shit. But at least he's alive. Hopefully he wakes up sometime soon. You never know. But one thing I'm going to say is. Gus is one sneaky bitch. I am telling you. How does this man like. He took them all down. He got them to go after Hank. Hank took them out for him. And then he goes after them and then he gets them killed. The only one left standing of like that cartel thing is the grandpa who who used to have like the two cousins. But now he doesn't have them so he's on his own. So it's like what is he gonna do? Like I'm pretty sure there might be some more but it's like from what I can see now the only one left is him. Because like. They killed everyone in that house, I'm sure. Or at least, like, took him into custody. But it's like... The shit that Gus can do, man. It's like, Gus can do all of that. He knows everything. He's been knowing about Hank. We've been knowing about that. But Walter didn't know. And it's like, Walter's never gonna know that. Like, Gus sent the fucking twins after Hank. And it's like... <sighs> he is such a sneaky person. And it's like... I love that, low-key. I think he's a great villain kind of businessman in this show. Like, damn. It is so weird how he looks so innocent yet can be so evil. Just like Walter in a way. But... And whenever freaking jesse saw earlier that it was hank going to the hospital i look he thought that he was about to like start feeling bad or something but then we saw that he started smiling so i was like oh so you kind of wanted him in there because you know karma's a bitch thought it got him back and it, i guess you could say he did like it did but he is alive hopefully it stays that way but i <laughs> I feel so bad for Gail, like, the way that Walter was trying to explain why Gail had to go, like, to him made no sense, and then the fact that Gail had to meet Jesse, it was like, what else? What else could happen? And then Jesse was freaking messing around that whole episode in the freaking lab, but like, I don't blame him, he hasn't seen shit like that, it's a whole different thing to what they're used to. But now, they have to cook up 400 pounds worth of all that shit. And it's going to be a lot of hard work. But that's probably going to be in the next episode. You never fucking know. I am just ready to see if Hank is up and shit in this next episode. So, I guess, come back for episode 9? 